Not gonna lie, it's a little 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 bit of a letdown how, how much she missed. Let's do another war or two and see if maybe I don't know. What what do we do about this? Like I, I feel like I should leave this thing open until we have gotten some clarity from, from this. It feels like I I have no reason to believe that the event outcomes are following a con like a, a the same RNG. I understand how RNG works on computers. I know that it's not true RNG, like, ever. So I can imagine a situation where it is, like, you know, picking a certain spot in a random randomized list, and then it's just moving to the next outcome, and then it is fixed. But there's so much happening on a day-to-day -day basis that's also relying upon that, R that RNG list, like the outcome numbers or whatever. So it feels like every day that goes by, it should change. So I just don't see how it could be different for events than it is for like sieges and rolling generals and you know what pulse event you get for your idea groups every five years. You know everything else is actual random. Read what Wish Pig posted. Wish, Wish Pig said, "I'm not a modder. This is just my understanding of the issue." Uh, one sec. I think to do the way with event seeding works where it doesn't always get a new seed for the RNG. It's bugged from the way the event seeding happens, similar to how you reload the air death events, you always get the same result. Yeah, there are some things like... Like, for example, if you're... Well, okay, that's different though. So if your king dies... Let's say that you have... You're, you've got a king and you're playing as a monarchy, and you've got an heir, and he's a 666, and he gets a hunting accident, and then you get a new character. The reason why that new character is going to be the same every time is because he's already alive. You just don't know he exists, because you already have an heir. The game actually does track a rudimentary dynasty system, where random characters are born, and then, like, you know, you'll have a brother. A, the brother to the the kid becomes the next heir. That's why they're always the same in that case. Stack pointer, hey. Oh, there you are. I've been waiting for you, man. Welcome. I have a thing for you. Wanted to make sure I got your name right. Cool. Uh, when I worked on the mining events, I found that triggered events have a bugged seed. So what's going on in this case then? Because we, we did five or six fireballs and we got the 20% outcome theoretically every time. When will it stop being the 20% outcome and start being the 80% outcome? Because I'd like to stop missing them. They work better when they hit, is, is what I've found. The sick air event, depending on how it's coded, I mean, I'd have to I'd have to look into that. But um, a lot of times the the RNG is pre-calculated. Like, if you have the event pop up already on the screen, and you're trying to decide if you should send him the medicus or if you should just chance it, the RNG roll has already been made. So, if you take the first option, he'll always die. Right? Or he'll always live. The actual RNG is, is calculated in the event as the event pops up. It's already done it. It's not doing it after you take the click. Well, how do you guys want to resolve this? Technically, the people who, who, who voted no understand the mechanic better and made the safe smart bet. I think we should just pay it out. I mean, it's only fair, right? Just channel points? <laughs> it's just channel points. It's just a million channel points in the formula in the, here. <laughs> the problem is that this, this side's the minority. So if we did like a poll on what to do here, how to resolve this, the majority are going to say, refund the points. And the 32% are going to say, pay out. So like, there's no point in even doing a poll. I, I mean, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. The fireball didn't hit. That's what happened. Sorry. 
you should you should learn how inner rng calculations work for paradox games apparently why isn't that on your resume <laughs> don't worry you'll get the points back on the next roll maybe unless it's a paradox event All right, we need to find someone else to fight because I want to cast some more fireballs. Our rival is Frozen Mom. He does have subjects that are all loyal. Got 13k troops. He's on tech 5 to our tech 4. We do have another rival slot, it looks like. I can rival Blade Breaker again. Let's go for him. He's easier. He has friends now. He's allied to all of these people. Wow. This is just a bunch of, like... They're just colonizing, right? They're not that not actually that big. You've got 15k troops, 9k troops, 15k troops. So say we attack Bladebreaker, and we send Yennefer off this way. She murders the crap out of that fort, then that fort, and then that fort. She just she just knocks them out one by one. We should probably wait till we have a fort of our own so that they go for our subject. So, probably wait a year or two, and then we'll do the war. Besides, we have 0.69 war exhaustion to get rid of. The RNG is decided before the event actually fires from the seed generated at the start of the run. How do you purge? Uh, the purge event's here. You go to Racial Tolerance and Pop Control. Find the... The filthy creature that you want to destroy, say it's Knolls, and then you purge or expel. Mean? Less mean, but still mean. Yeah, our PP is getting small. Either, either of the two wars I'm considering, though, are going to increase our PP, so... If we can get a scornful insult soon... We'll be okay. Also, we can issue the embargo. That'll help slightly. I think we'll have enough time to build our fort. I feel a lot safer going into the war with that built already. Hmm. No buildings to build. No condottieri unless we want a black flag and try to find some derp over here again. Oh man, this is the emperor. We rented to the emperor. I didn't realize that. Somehow we're completely out of manpower again. Slackening standards only gives us 2,600 troops. How good is that general? It's, uh, she's a, she's got a lot. She's a 4-11-3-8. She's pretty strong good. Unfortunately, we can't rent her out. The army has to go without her. Which means if we're renting out Knateri for money, we can't uh, we can't drill with Yennefer to try to give her some more more pips. She can gain pips even though she's got a ton. You still don't know who I am, so maybe nine monies this time for someone else with rebels. You, Amy, damn, those are rebels. Pay me? Damn. How about some rando over here? Someone pay me? Give me all your money. Just just give me your treasury. Why not? You know you want to. Alright, forget it. We've got, some, we've got some money. We're building a fort. That's the main thing I wanted. We're actually making five ducats a month without having a contract active, so... Alright, we'll go home and drill. I could uh, colonize here temporarily so that we get adjacency here. Brave Brothers are another adventurer band. This is the one that's allied to my ally. Maybe it's time to just ditch our ally so that we get an extra diplo point per month and we can go tap 
these three for money. This is upstream from us, so we get good value out of the trade. Especially from this guy, he's got two centers. This guy's got to level a lot of trade power here. Wait, he's not going to be in the war. It's you. I don't like my ally. We have Yennefer. Yennefer is all you really need in the world. Yennefer casting fireballs. Of course, this is not a guy that we can get a free quick claim on, so I've got to build up a spy network. And then we can do it. Go culture map mode, please. Sure. Yennefer has missed... Uh, we should get a, a command for how many fireballs she's missed. When I tested this last night, I had the 70-30 chance on fireballs, and every one of them hit, which did seem a little bit suspect. But I don't understand how I had that luck last night, and now I'm having this luck today. Like, what is happening? I don't get it. You're surrounded by orcs? Yeah. Well, most of it's uncolonized. The uncolonized land shows as if it's orc, but it's it's just... There's just local orcs. Okay. Institution's at 86%. We probably should just dev out the last couple clicks, then take Institution, and then and then go from there. So why don't we cast the spell for all power costs? We'll keep falling behind on dip, it's fine. How many clicks do you think we need? 86.24. We get 5.33. It's three clicks then. Probably go like... Mill, dip, mill. Yeah. Okay, which spell was it? Evocation? Illusion. Enchantment. I don't know. Divination. Scrying. Scry on the affairs of the realm. 50 admin points to save all power costs minus 10 for one year. Till... No, not even one year. Lasts until 66, which is the year we're in. We're in the first month. It only lasts for six months. Let's scry on the affairs of the realm for six months. Go. All power cost reduction. Why would that make you disloyal? Kind of weird. Realm magic, scrying, general affairs. Sick. Dev cost. We go mill, dip, mill. Institution present, embrace. I'm gonna save some money if I had uh, scientific revolution already. I'd really like Scientific Revolution. We're actually taking this now, aren't we? Yeah, great. So now we go here for 307. Next one. Then we take Miltech. Look at all this stuff that's happening right now. It's crazy. Shame I can't knock this out during the scrying as well. Shoot. Maybe I should have mathed that out better. I need 30... I need 40 points? 6 months, gaining 7? It might work out. Depending on when the actual event drops off, we might be able to sneak in the tech. Especially if I break this relationship, but I, I can't do it till we get a claim, so... Maybe we just break the, the relationship now. I don't think I need it. I'm, I'm going to be enemies with him anyway, so... Let's just break it now, save a few dipple points. So long. Nice to know you. 14 trusts, or 14 favors gone. Oh, that's why I see now. I get it. Diplo rep. Got it. We lost Diplo rep. That made him disloyal. Okay, we have superior unit types. We can switch to the longbow. Three whole pips. Wow. Wow. Just recently, you had to rewrite a whole section of code? I heard an event from the on build from a building and got the bug seed. So, are you saying... Okay. I'm trying to focus on chat and the game and the spells and all the things. Are you saying that it's an actual bugged seed? Do I need to, like, reload EU4? Or... How... What do you, what do you mean?
Has it is it doing something silly like it rolls the dice for the event one time and then for the rest of the game it's just always going to be that outcome? So we missed the first cast, therefore we miss every cast. That would explain why last night I landed every fireball. Can you think of any kind of coding method to bypass that? Because I don't get it. There are events that that do the same thing every time that don't work that way for, for vanilla EU4. Why would it work that way for modded events? Could you use like a an arithmetic function to make a pseudo-random portion to the event itself that then makes it have to recalculate the event manually every time? Possibly? I see, okay. While events have random seed on their own, decisions don't. Right, but the decision fires an event that fires a triggered only dis event. So it's like you're like three layers in, three events deep. I guess it could carry it through the whole way and, and say that it's all decision based. Uh, could you bypass it by removing the triggered only effect and make it just be a mean time to happen one day event? So that it wouldn't pop up instantaneously while paused, but like within a day or two you'd get a pop up? that would actually be an event that's technically firing on its own, not triggered. Basically, the decision would add a flag to your country that says, I'm allowed a fireball event. And then there's an event that says, I'm a fireball event. I want to fire every day. And it can't fire until you have that flag. How would that affect performance, though? Have I expanded it all yet? Yeah. We had one province, now we have two. Almost three. We're so big now. Okay, Realm Scrying is expiring in... 7th month, 13th day. Nice. It's not like I needed that stab for prosperity or anything, game. Thank you. At least we have the scrying active. On the plus side. It looks like we're just barely going to eke it out. As long as I cast it at the beginning of the month before the scrying event goes away, we can still save 10% dip. 60, 60 dipple points. That's so efficient. I spent 50 admin points to save... 40 admin on two admin ideas, 60 mil on a mil tech, 60 dip on the dip tech, 10 admin on a stab bump, and I did three development clicks. 10% of the base price is... I did two mil, one dip, I think it was. So that's another 10, 10 mil, five dip. So the overall output for that, that spell was 60 plus... 60 on the mill, plus 60 on the... No, not it wasn't 60, it was 40, plus 40, plus 60, plus 60, plus 10 from stab, plus 10 from mill dev, plus 5 dip from dip dev. I spent 50 points to save 225. That's so good. Crying? Sick. Okay. Hmm. This might be a war that justifies uh maybe using the spell in as well. To uh to give ourselves a little bit of an edge, because we're gonna be fighting. One, two, three countries. We've got 
9k, 9k, 10k. It's like 30,000 troops. Now I only have 12. So she needs to absolutely straight up murder everything. Also, this guy's already at war. This guy's my rival, though. He's also at war with... Severed Ear and Blade Breaker. Severed Ear is you. Aren't you both my rivals? Frozen Maw Blade Breaker? Severed Ear, then. Can I rent to you? He's in debt. Boo. Am I playing a Majocracy? Not yet. We're still technically an adventurer. Okay, we're just waiting until we have enough uh, spy network here so that I can get a claim on him and then I can declare. Our subject's doing an okay job colonizing. He's actually keeping up with us. Okay, let's attack the colonist. Send the colonist here so we have adjacency. Get a claim. Cancel the colony. Send the colonist back to the old colony. Bring back the diplomat. We know that this guy's army is going to be distracted with the other war, so we probably just go focus on knocking out our former ally. They are also likely to be up here, though, too. I don't recognize any flags, so I don't, I don't know if their army is already up there or not. I think it's safe to assume that we can beat these guys out of the war quickly before they can actually threaten the capital. The capital's only halfway done on the fort, but I think I'm ready to go. Good relations. Your mother is... silly looking. So is your dad. Your daddy doesn't love you either. <gasps> oh, harsh words. Cut, cut him to the bone. Did you see that? Custom insults. Alright. So I'm going to save and we're going to throw some fireballs and we're going to just check to see if every fireball still misses. And if they all do, I'll just refund the points via console rather than reload because why bother? So siege magic, greater fireball, 10 military points, missed. That's one. Sounds like we've got to, we, we understand what's wrong. Um. How is it, though, that this is a thing in the mod? Like, this mod is, is exceptionally well made, so... Kind of surprises me that uh, it's in here, like this. Try throwing another one. Two missed. Right, but like, the mod has been around for two years, which means that it's been playtested, so how is it that this hasn't been addressed by their dev team? Their dev team's really good, the mod's really good. So like, this shouldn't be a thing. They should have either removed this functionality or found a way to work around it. They shouldn't just leave it in the game. Alright, that was 30 mil. No more testing needed. Subjects here doing some work. Cool. Let's try to mitigate some of the attrition because I'm actually at zero manpower right now. Like you do. The mod would have to find another way around the problem by not using it as a decision. Would my idea work, though? I think, I think that the issue is this part here. If you do... Okay, I, I think I understand the problem. Everything that's derived from here is predetermined RNG outcome, essentially. So the problem is that it, it remembers that you're coming from the decisions menu the whole way through. So you go Siege Magic, Instantaneous Event, Fireball, Instantaneous Event, Cast the Fireball, Instantaneous Event. So what I'm saying, though, is what if on this level, I clicked this, and then it says... Instead of cast a greater fireball, it just says, attempt to, ga to cast a greater fireball. The next event isn't instantaneous. It doesn't just go, 
boom, you missed. It just says, okay, we're now attempting to fire a fireball. And then within the next like two to three days, like really quickly, a completely non-decision tied event fires on its own. Wouldn't that work? It isn't ideal? Well, yeah. <laughs> this isn't ideal either. <laughs> I didn't realize we were having a discussion about whether it's ideal or not. I'm trying to find a way to make it actually work. We'll worry about ideal after it works. You're not saying that it's not ideal? You're just saying that the solution's bad? Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna err on the side of what Stack Pointer says. He says, I used the same thing for the Excel Ball mining event. I asked him if there was a way to fix the uh, the mining events not being not working in the current version of Anbinar, and he fixed it in like less than an hour, so. His, his response just now was that that idea would work, so I believe him. Uh, if it can be done in that way, in a way that's not going to, like, bastardize the performance of the game, then... <clears throat> Stack pointer. <laughs> Feel free, man. Have some fun. <laughs> it's all you. There's probably some other way to, to, like, maybe mitigate some of the performance loss. But again, how often are... how many How many characters are actually mages? And how many of those characters are actually casting spells? Like... It shouldn't be too big of a performance loss, depending. Give me... stuff. I actually want more money than prestige now, because our subject is loyal. All right, let's see if maybe there's another event we can fire. Am I also understanding that it doesn't matter if I cast another spell, right? Like if I cast something else like Earthquake, that's not gonna fix Fireball. Fireball is essentially due to the decision getting its RNG calculated one time. It has it is resolved that my Fireball will always miss forever. Is that right? What's a Siege Elemental? That costs admin points. We're trying to do an administrative idea group. Let's just see what it is, though. We failed. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Spanning our core is going to give us, uh, hey, settler chance and global settlers plus 25. We only have the one colonist still, but let's just turn it on now. Home. We should do the full core before we click that. Why not just make spellcasting guaranteed and increase the cost instead of a mage missing spell? Yeah, especially with fireball. Like if you actually play D&D, it's kind of difficult to miss with a fireball. Like the opponent can, t they can make a saving throw, but you can't just like miss. I mean, it's a freaking ball of fire being shot at the walls of a fort. It's gonna hit. 69 more score, nice. Okay, we have the admin efficiency penalty right now. We're really far skewed towards the pioneers. Probably doesn't make sense to try to bend them away just to save a, a couple points. 
Um, maybe we should stockpile a whole bunch of actions again and then do the scry. Like, I could wait at least until I have, um, you know, an admin idea to take or something, or maybe Miltech 6, and then we'll do the core, then we'll do the click, something like that. see an army to kill that I can't actually get into so never mind we'll just assist See what else we can cast. Maybe one of these damn things will actually work. So this one fails, this one fails. Earthquake, what's Earthquake do? Five admin? It's only a 40% chance, but maybe this one's guaranteed to succeed. Who knows? Nope. It's faltering. More power! I'm starting to feel like all of my evocation spells are just like guaranteed low, low rolls. This is a this is a poor showing for Matt for magic. Okay, um I need the Renaissance in every province. And then we can do the Golden Era. Next colony, um go for the higher dev province probably. We could consider things like trade goods, but it would be great if this thing was still gold. This was the province we got gold in, right? 4% chance. This is killing your interest in the mod? Don't worry about it, man. I mean, I'm not, I'm not guaranteeing anything, but I, I would say... <laughs> If we were to do a prediction on this, I, I think that the odds that uh, one of the people in, in my Discord that is a modder finds a solution to fix this... Uh, I bet it's fixed by today. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. If it's not, oh well. But, I mean, I got like 30-40 hours of entertainment just playing as the dwarves. Like, you don't have to do spell spell casting. But I am kind of curious to go check out maybe either their Discord or the workshop page to see, like... Has no one reported that this is a thing? Does no one even realize it? Like, why is it, um... That's kind of surprising. Okay, do we take some land? It's part of this state. Mm. We're still just kind of in an economic mode. I really just want to get the level 3 center of trade. Besides, if I take this, it's another province we have to wait for to get the Renaissance before we can activate the Golden Era. So I think we just don't take land, still. Just... Hill for the shit out of our neighbors. That's what they're there for. Can't insult either of my rivals yet. But I have a new rival slot. Heart Grinder. We've got no scornful insult. Here! When the account of your of our time is written by future generations, they will look at you with that mix of pity and disgust. Old compassion. Loser. What a loser. Yeah, even, even without the magic system, the battle mage stuff is nuts, man. She's crazy strong. Okay, uh... We could benefit from the manpower recovery right now, but I think that it's got to be the Global Settlers plus 50 over the uh, higher developed colonies. This makes our colonization more money efficient. This makes our Monarch points more money, more, more efficient. Settlers then colonies. Yeah, that's that's what I was leaning toward. I like I like this a lot. 
Let me go, um, go to 120. That's good. It'd be great if we had a second colonist, but I, I don't think we're going to go for exploration or expansion ideas. I have no truce with Blade Breaker. Heart Grinder, his ally, and my other rival won't defend him. So this is a great opportunity to isolate both of our rivals and potentially get lots of stuff. He's got 15k troops to our 13k. He's on tech 4 to our tech 5. And we have a 6.5k subject. Leroy. I might need to... Do we actually slack in for 2,900 troops? I think I do. I have access to everywhere but where I need. Of course. <laughs> it's gonna cost me a dipple point or two, whatever. Why are you just now coming down here? Stay away from my capital, Dirk. Clouded Eye, secondary participant that we want to knock out quite for, quite fast. We could walk through here. I think I do want to just fight this army. In fact, that one's already locked with no leader. He might be so afraid of this army that he doesn't even try to defend this stack. Yeah, look, he's just going to leave it to die. Kind of funny, actually. Focus on the secondary participant first. This is bad terrain. Um, I'm okay with it though. I mean, we've got the tech advantage. I don't think I need to like cast spells or anything here. That guy is on tech five. Ooh, that's actually not as good as I thought it was gonna be. Yennefer. 4 11 versus a 0 2. Why do you look scary? Let's cast the spell. Why not? This one's bound to work, right? Because it's not an actual percent outcome. We want to cast, I think it's Evocation, War Magic. For the next year, for 50 military points, we have Morale of Armies plus 5 and Shock Damage plus 20. So she's on the battlefield. It's the final episode of Game of Thrones, and we're putting the fire. On the shock of all of the source hordes. Yeah, look at the shock! Murder everyone! Win before they get there, please. Come on. Really? Yennefer. That's disappointing. Retreat to his hold. Go siege it down. The new colony to Battle Mage Sexy Dungeon. Lower cast stun nath is no longer no lower cast nath. It's now battle mage sexy done. This is the sexy done, like you do. They never expect the offensive retreat. Kind of wasting the temporary modifier from that spell, but. We're going to probably knock this guy out of the war, so... I have enough admin points for one idea. I need to core that other province. I just want to save up so that I can... Every time. Every time. Every goddamn time. Spam the damn disease outbreak emote, seriously. Like, come on. 1 in, one in 14 my ass. Our subject is getting destroyed by Clouded Eye. 
So if we could, you know, succeed in this siege. Is there even a single siege magic spell that I can cast that actually works? Or are they all... They're all bugged. All three of my siege magic spells fail every time. Awesome. Awesome. We just have to succeed in this 14% natural dice roll. Rip like 6,000 manpower for our subject. <gasps> we actually got it. Holy crap. In professionalism, that's manpower. I was pretty lucky. 14%. Maybe maybe I do run the Diplo Advisor. We're behind on Diplotech since I did so much development. I generally hate running full price level 2 advisors, but the opportunity for the yearly inflation reduction plus trade efficiency advisor event giving us 400 monarch points kind of makes it feel worthwhile. If only because we could we can do that and if the event fires I'll just not rehire a level 2 advisor. Otherwise I wouldn't I wouldn't pay for it. 6000 manpower in the hole. I was slacking again with the pro professionalism that we got over there. Transmutation next. Transmutation next. What? Even more professionalism. I don't care. Get rid of it all. Give me the manpower. We actually still have the modifier? Holy crap, it still persisted. I still have six more months of it. Wow. That actually kind of lasts a lot longer than I thought that it would. I, I don't really have enough manpower to train more troops, but I don't want to wait months and months for them to reinforce. I might just train two more infantry now, so that in two months I can go relieve that siege. The Mayor Emmanuel, thank you for your sub, man. It feels weird to not take an idea when you can take it, but stacking the scrying Discount. I mean, I made how many points was it? It was like 225 minus the 50 we spent. It was a lot. Also, Golden Era? Golden Era when? We can, go, we can do Golden Era right now, actually. Do it right now. So for one month, we waste some money. And then at the beginning of next month, we can, we can click this button. And then cancel the colony. Hmm. So I can I can scry, which takes this mill tech down by 10%. So it's currently costing 439. It's going to go down by 60 to 379. So we actually are really close. In like two months, we can take tech. Let's let our subject maybe have his capital fall. It's not that big big of a deal if it does, right? No big deal. Besides, we've got till the third month. We got like three whole months before our War magic goes away. Three seventy nine, and I've got three seventy three. Beginning of next month. Okay. It might fall. This is fine. I shall scry. I shall divine the scryed affairs of the realm. Boom. Tech, please. Current level mill tech for 379 in the year 1469. That seems pretty cheap. I could take this, but we're doing ideas. Shame I can't get more than that. 
And I do want this core. Uh, we're not getting rid of any war exhaustion, right? That's not really worth it. I need to do this core, though. Which allows us to turn in the mission. Rebuilding the villages. Construction cost, construction time for 50 years. I guess I'll save that till I have a... Well, no, actually I'll do it now. Build a mage tower. For 387, we almost have enough. Ooh, barracks. I like barracks. Do you like barracks? I like barracks. Battle mage sexy done. Only has a little tiny bit of manpower. This is going to update though. It's because it was a territorial core, so let's just start the barracks now. We technically still have realm magic, war magic, for four days. Probably not enough time. 